at the uh, kind of the trailhead for both the Geraldine Lakes and the Lower Fryth, Fryth Valley um, campgrounds or trails, I guess. Um, beautiful day. It's about right around the zero mark. It's uh, enough snow, a lot more than last time I was here. And, uh, well, not a ton of daylight left. I'm here a little later than I was hoping. Anyways, I hope to be in camp in about three and a half hours, four hours, three and a half hours. And then, uh, yeah, spend the night in the bush. I've been going for about an hour. I've made probably three and a half, four-ish kilometers, something like that. And um, beautiful. I'm following these tracks. Uh, looks, I, okay, I'm gonna embarrass myself a little bit here, but I think cougar, I think cougar or big wolf. I'll show you some of them, something. There's a good set of prints. I've kind of walked all over them now. Good plan, you know. Anyways, see if there's some good prints up there. So notice how many tracks are out here. I'm pretty sure I'm following somebody who was pulling a sled, but it was a while ago. And uh, you can see how he's carved out this trench in front of me here that I'm kind of in. So I'm not a very good cross country skier and I'm trying to do it with one pole, which takes my bad skiing and makes it even look worse than it actually is. That's my excuse, sticking with it. Oh, tree. These things are actually a pain in the butt to cross with the skis on. Guess what? I'm putting the camera away. Two things are going to happen. I'm going to embarrass myself and I'm going to hurt myself. And I don't want that on camera. But that's a broken binding. So, what to do? I think I'm about halfway, all told. So I think I'm gonna walk into camp. I'm gonna try walking. 
uh, in my cross country boots. Not ideal. And then we'll see how how it does and uh, decide if I'll just I can just bail. There's a uh, there's a lookout by the river not far up. You can hear the highway. Uh, if there if I am not walking well at that point, I'm just going to turn around and come out. Take me a couple of extra hours to get out, but say la vie, right? Ah, frustrating. Let me tell you about how awesome hiking in cross country boots isn't. Not the right tool for the job. Are you kidding me? Aha. Apparently there is a trail, I don't know, somewhere from there. I wouldn't cross the river, mind you, but maybe some people try it. Okay, well this is where I was going to stop and take a break. I am not sure, not sure about continuing. Not a good way to hike. Your heel sinks. Your heel sinks in further than the rest of your foot because you don't have the same kind of wide heel or wide-ish heel that a hiking boot would have. Uh, so, it's gonna be, I guess. But anyways, let's have a break, have some water, have some food, do some thinking. I really want to camp outside, but be a better skier, I guess, eh? Don't fall and break your binding. <sighs> I'm a little surprised that binding broke like it did. Didn't take much, I don't think. Not that hard a fall. Certainly not hard enough to hurt myself. <sighs> Frustrating. I gotta say that it's frustrating. So I've chosen to keep going. Uh, right now, I'm a fair bit closer to the campsite than I am to the Jeep. So, um, I think it's probably best I just go in, set up camp, spend the night, come out tomorrow when there's lots of light. I'm not going to catch myself in the dark, which is probably not the greatest plan. A lot more foot traffic around here. And this path is definitely more trod. I'm barely sinking in the snow here. Okay. I do not like hiking in cross country boots. Might have mentioned that. I am looking forward to dinner though. That's good. Really good. Oh, that's the switchback. Singular. This is the hardest part of the trail for me. Up to Fry's like to the lower fried campsite. So it's just like up a bit of a hill, one switch back and it's all good. 
well, I mean, up a bill, bit of a hill, switch back up a little bit more of a hill, and then you're kind of at the top of the ridge. After that, there's a little up and down, not a ton. So, I think the uh, ski tracks that I'm following are like backcountry skiers. Because they're nice and wide. And the, the tracks are not that old. I would be surprised if they were older than yesterday, but I wouldn't, wouldn't be that surprised if it was today. So, I might see somebody yet today. We'll see. Made it, made it. But the snow's deep over there and my boots are now filled. Oh, that's gonna be nasty, it's gonna be wet. So I'm gonna set up camp right away here. Uh, get some food on. Ah, <sighs> we'll call it good, I think. First field test of this thing. So, got the uh, gas in there to do the pre-light. And eventually it's going to warm up. When we start here at Sizzle, then we will uh, turn the gas back on. And uh, hopefully we'll... Now it's finally starting to burn. In a little bit here we'll turn the gas on, like I say. That all. Put some water, water in there. Melt a little bit. Let's see, I gotta drink some. Milk. Well, hope it melts. I wanted to get water down at the river, down there, but it's frozen so high. I didn't want to take a chance of leaning over the edge and having it break and let me, sending me for a swim. Sylvie. Sleeping set up last night. here I think Ooh, it's very red in there very red must be ready for anything Ugh. all right so I just finished breakfast here I had peach oatmeal and I've got to say that's got to be one of the best oatmeals the peaches rehydrate better than I think anything else they are fantastic uh, I've just got enough water left to fill my water bottle. Well, it was hot water. I threw some slow in there to cool it down a bit. Um, I'm going to pack up. And once I've packed up... Oh, man. Can you see that? It's out there. Beautiful, beautiful. Sunshiny day, a few clouds. A uh, couple of words on some of the gear I've picked up. Um, the stove is super easy to use and boils water, so I guess it does what it's supposed to do. I can't speak to how well it does compared to other stoves, other than the jet boil. 
I think it took about 20 or 25 minutes to boil up uh, two liters of snow. So that's right from snow to, uh, to boil. Um, these mitts, didn't have to use them very much, but they're actually quite warm for a $20 mitt on sale at Beck. Uh, I really like those. And these booties. Uh, come on, camera. These booties are fabulous. Now, you definitely wouldn't want to be wearing them in any situation where it's actually wet out, pardon me. But, um, but while it's not wet, it, it, they work really, really well. Uh, yeah, what else? What else, what else, what else? That's pretty much it here. Uh, oh, okay, you gotta see up, up there. See up there? Sun on the peak. Come on, are you kidding? This is beautiful. Oh yeah. And over there, wait till that one gets some sunshine. Oh, look way up. Wait till that gets some sunshine, eh? Love it. Okay, so I'm not exactly looking forward to um, walking out in my cross-country boots. I know it's going to be a bit of a slog of a day, but it's a good start. I'm going to have my, forgot to mention, my coffee. Um, I'm going to have that while I'm packing up. And uh, I guess we'll call her good pack up quick and get on the road. I know it's going to be a slog, like I mentioned, but it's only, I think it'll take me four and a half, four and a half hours to get out. A bit longer than on the skis, of course, quite a bit longer, but uh, got to be done. All right, I'll see you maybe when I'm packing up or when I'm on the trail. Well, that's the only unpleasant part of my morning this morning getting those on. Blah. Cold. I think wet, but just cold for now. And uh, so it's pretty much her. Got her all packed up. Uh, yeah, I forgot to check the time before I turned the video on. So the time is what it is bag all packed up <sighs> ready to go there's nothing for it but to get going I guess okay Man. I love this place it is incredible I love it I gotta tell you, this from here to the campsite on the way in, it feels like it's gotta be an hour, an hour of slogging. And on the way out, uh, it's half an hour. So it took me half an hour to get from camp to here. I left there at about 10, 27 or so. It's about 10, 57 when I got here. Uh, temperature when I left camp was about minus five degrees. And I think it's warmed up a little bit since then, maybe a little bit. Um, too hot in my outer layer, so that came off. Although it's just standing around, it gets cold pretty quick. But I'm gonna get walking right away anyways. Um, did I say I like it here? Beautiful, beautiful. How's that? So, been on the trail for an hour. Just shy of an hour, like a couple minutes shy of an hour. 
and we're down at down at the river again um, that was mostly downhill and it's actually not bad with the boots I have on recall those boots hey I didn't pee there that was not me um, but the rest of it is more or less well it feels like it's all uphill from here uh, it's not it's probably downhill by and large but uh, especially the last like two kilometers on the trail before the road it's definitely up that's not gonna feel so good I passed four backcountry skiers um, who didn't come by, by here if you can see the trail uh, so there's they're crossing the river somewhere up there so I don't know where they're crossing but that sure shaves a bunch of time off that might be might be worth looking into uh, although crossing a river is incredibly risky but it's like seven kilometers each way shaved off it's a lot of it's a lot of walking anyways I'm gonna get on uh, so it's like 11:30. 11:30. I've got three more hours of walking so maybe 2 30 depending on how long I break for I'll be at the Jeep and that would be good because then I can get a word off to my wife uh, right away talk to you later talk to you later what am I saying Got my skis on my back. Naughty, naughty skis. Ah, <sighs> so uh, two and a half, two and a half hours, something like that. We'll see. Uh, it's 12.05, so an hour and 30, an hour and 40 minutes since I left. And I'm just going to grab a bite to eat because I'm at this kind of creek thing here. About... Alright, I'm back here. Which means I've got about two and a half kilometers till the Jeep. So that's not bad. Uh, one sec. I'll check what time it is. I'll be right back. It's 1.34, because I know you guys were wondering that. And, uh, I think I'm about half an hour away. I think I can do two and a half and half an hour. This is, this trail, coming right up here, is like track set and packed. So, this will be pretty easy. So, I've seen... A uh, total of three cross-country skiers. One guy headed up this way, and then a couple was out that way. Uh, so I'm not the only one back here. Right. Okay, I'm back. Uh, 2:22. Got back about seven minutes ago, call it quarter after two. Um, little bit better, I guess, than I wanted to. Wanted to be back by 2.30. <sighs> so that's done. That was a slog. It's way better to ski than to walk. Way better, so FYI. Anyways, made it back. Uh, We'll try and stay awake on the drive home and see how it goes. All right, see ya.